Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Natalie and today we're watching Edge of Tomorrow. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Thank you so much for being here, especially you. Yes, you. Hello, you. I'm talking to you again through the camera. How you doing today? Thank you so much to all y'all who stick around and subscribe, who are part of my crispy golden nuggets over here on YouTube. Y'all make up the best community over here and I'm so lucky to have you. And welcome if you're new. Hey, hi, how are ya? If you like what you see here and you enjoy these kinds of videos and you keep clicking on them over and over and over again and watching movies and shows with me, but you're not subscribed yet, what are you doing? It's free, the button is right down there underneath underneath me, just, just a little red button. I'm sure you know where it is. I'm sure that you're on YouTube, as are we all. Um, I don't post that often, just like twice a week. So I won't annoy you that much, just a little bit. You know, if you don't mind, it would really make my day. Anyway, today we are finally hopping on into Edge of Tomorrow. I figured it was time for another action movie. There are definitely a lot of action movies that I have not seen in the course of my life here on this earth. And Edge of Tomorrow was one of them. I actually forgot that it was even a movie that like existed um, until really recently. There was like a still from the movie that just kind of popped up in my social media feed. And I was like, I don't know what that's from. And Tyler actually reminded me like that's from Edge of Tomorrow. And I remembered, oh, that's a movie that's on my list. And he's the one that told me, yeah, that's actually a really good movie. So he was kind of the inspiration for including this in a poll really recently over on my Patreon page. There were some other awesome movies in that poll over in my Patreon page as well. Things like Mission Impossible and The Terminator. There's a lot of action films that I haven't seen in the time that I've been watching movies. And all I really know about this movie is what little bit that I saw from the log line. It seems like it involves time travel, aliens, and a war. That's all I know. That's all I've seen from the log line. I kind of couldn't help but glance at it. And I see that Emily Blunt is in the movie as well as Tom Cruise. Well, I'm not too familiar with this director's work, so this should be fun to be more familiar with a different director, a different style of film that I don't really dive into all that much. To be honest, I haven't even really seen a lot of Tom Cruise action movies, uh, and there are many of those, so. This will be a fun and new and interesting experience for me. I'm trying to think if I've seen any Tom Cruise action flicks. I feel like I haven't. Like I haven't seen Mission Impossible. I haven't seen Top Gun. I did see, uh, is it World War Z? Is that the one with Dakota Fanning? What's the, no. What's the one with Dakota Fanning? War of the Worlds? I think it's that one. I have seen bits and pieces of that. I hated it because it was terrifying. It was well done. It was just terrifying. So that one didn't go over well with me. I don't know, I don't even know why I've seen parts of that, but I think that's like the only Tom Cruise action movie I've seen because this really just is not a genre that I've immersed myself in. So I'm pretty excited to jump on into it with you guys here today. I think it'll be a fun time. I'm hoping it's not too scary. A lot of times when you hear about aliens, um, the movies can get pretty spooky, pretty scary. I'm currently watching Stranger Things as well, and I've been um, a little bit scared watching that. So I, I, I don't really want to be scared today. So hopefully it's more on the action side of things and less on the jump scare. Like hopefully there's none of that. I would, I would, I would love for that to be the case, but we'll see. And that's all I really have to say about this movie. I'm just kind of excited to hop on into something different with you guys and have a good time today. But real quick, before we watch the movie, I just wanna thank the sponsor of today's video, Helix Sleep. Are you stuck in a perpetual cycle of insomnia and sleep troubles with an old and worn out mattress? Much like Tom Cruise in this movie, I was stuck in a rut. But instead of a rut that consisted of a world-altering battle between humans and aliens, my rut was a poor night's rest. But all of that changed with Helix Sleep. Helix makes premium mattresses and bedding that are customized to fit your needs and that conveniently ship right to your door. They even have a quiz that tests for factors like firmness preferences, back pain, and sleeping positions, so they're able to find the mattress that's perfect for you. 
Tyler's a back sleeper while I'm a stomach sleeper. So when we took the quiz together, Helix matched us with their Dusk Lux mattress. We've now had it for over a year and it has been incredible. The Dusk Lux has just the right balance of firmness and support while still feeling really cozy and luxurious. In fact, it's so comfortable that I've noticed my quality of sleep has actually improved. In the past, I would need around eight to nine hours of sleep every night just to feel like I could function the next day. Lately, I've actually been kind of waking up around seven hours in and I feel much more rejuvenated and I have the lasting energy to power through my day no naps required. With your purchase, Helix will give you a 100 night sleep trial plus a 10 year warranty. So if it makes you nervous to buy something you haven't tried, which I know it does for me, Helix will give you just over three months to make sure that you love it. And if you don't, they will pick it up for you and give you a full refund. So either way, it is a win-win for you. Just click the link below or go to helixsleep.com slash nataliegold for up to $200 off of your new Helix Sleep mattress. Plus you get two free pillows. Who doesn't like free stuff? Thank you so much again to Helix for sponsoring this video and thank you guys as always for listening to the sponsor. Sponsors definitely help keep the channel going so I really appreciate it. And with all that being said, I think it's time to watch Edge of Tomorrow. So if you guys are ready, grab a drink, grab a snack, and let's get into the movie. Oh, oh interesting. Are these all the news reports before the alien invasion? I really shouldn't have read the damn logline. We've been able to create super soldiers. Oh, William Cage is his name. Oh, Emily Blunt is the angel. Oh, I see. She was able to kill hundreds of mimics on only your first day in combat. Imagine an army of Rita Vertaskis. Oh, so she's the badass. Okay, cool. Operation Downfall is going to be the largest mechanized invasion in the history of mankind. We will be victorious. Interesting. So this is an optimistic alien invasion movie. I feel like War of the Worlds is more realistic. Like, we'd just be f you know? Although I think that movie kind of had a happy ending. I don't know. This is like the one where humans are, we're like kicking ass. We're like coming back with new technology. I can't wait to see what the mimics look like. I wonder if they look like people and that's why they're called mimics. That would make sense, right? You ship out to the coast in one hour. Your camera crew is standing by. You'll be on the beach with the first wave. The first wave, oh, fun. Oh, did he not think he'd be fighting? I do, I do this to avoid doing that. Oh, 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 he's one of those. So he's not like a fighter in this. You, you do what you do, but. Ah! Oh, I love this. I love this character arc for him. That's why I'm embedding you with several hundred thousand men and women who are. While it is an honor general. He's like trying to say no. He can't stand the sight of blood. Not so much as a paper cut. <laughs> ah, ha, 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 ha. Well, um, ah, this guy's not taking no for an answer. You are now under my command. You will retain your present rank, of course. Oh, oh, look at, yeah, oh. Good luck, you are dismissed. Holy shit. that's hilarious. I love this. So in this movie, like he's the one who's not gonna be good at fighting and he's gonna be completely insecure about it. Whereas like Emily Blunt's the badass. I love that. I love that he's like this little spineless, scared little boy. Arrest this man. And he's fleeing now? <laughs> Holy shit. What a downfall so quickly. Oh, and it's Operation Downfall. I bet he's gonna have to be on the beach anyway. They're sending him there anyway, huh? So you might as well have just cooperated. Where the hell am I, Sergeant? Forward operating base Heathrow. Oh, Heathrow is now a base. Wow. My name is Major William Cage. I'm an American officer. I don't think you are anymore. You've been demoted, I'm sure. So if you just take me to a phone. Haven't you heard? What T minus all last H hour? He's just trying to get out of this situation. He's so desperate to get out of it. My name is Farrell. That's right. Master Sergeant Farrell. Master Sergeant Farrell, you're an American. No, sir. I'm from Kentucky. What? Does that not count? It says here you're a deserter. Oh. It says here you were caught impersonating an officer. Anything to get out of combat duty tomorrow. But that's not going to happen. Private Cage. He's a private now. Ha! Wow, wow, we just dropped in so quickly to like the dark night of the soul for this character. He's already at rock bottom. Robert Camel, what is my view of gambling in the barracks? Just like it, Sergeant Farrell. And what is my definitive position on the concept of fate, Chorus? Through readiness and discipline, we are masters of our fate. 
Oh. Oh, they have to eat the cards? I'm sure that that line will get repeated later in the movie. I mean, I will never be caught. Ah, Any be you, Cage. Tomorrow morning, you will be baptized. You'll be baptized. Ah! <laughs> this is great. This is honestly so funny. I love seeing him in this terrified, frantic state. I could hurt somebody. <laughs> Not with the safety on you, one. But where is the safety? Oh my God. Oh my God, they're not gonna train him. This is so funny. He's, he's, oh God, he's in the now. What is this girl doing? Is this Emily Blunt? She's straight up over here doing yoga. Take care of private cage. What, all day? Something tells me it won't be nearly that long. Ah! Oh, he'll survive, don't worry. <laughs> oh my God, he's having a hard time walking in it. Man, they, wardrobe really had to go all out. This is crazy. They're all in these heavy duty suits. Yeah, you're in it now. Oh, he's trying to run away. Who do you think he could just run away? Bro, that's not how this works. They're gonna notice you. Oh my God, he's desperate. The funny part is he started off this movie with him saying, oh, if we had a bunch of soldiers like uh, whatever Emily Blunt's character's name is, we would win the war so fast. And then he gets thrown into it. He's like, ah, oh, They're gonna be dropped in, huh? He doesn't even know how to fly it, huh? Really, no one has taught him how to do this, huh? 30 seconds to drop! Oh my god. Did they make a ride out of this? Because I would ride it. Oh no, they got attacked. Hit the release, hit the release. Oh my god, he doesn't know though. Go! Oh no, he's still attached. Oh God, they're, some of them are hitting each other. Oh God. Ow! Oh, the shield, the face shield's gone. Not like that mattered. That man spent too much time celebrating. Oh, there, there's a mimic. Okay. Oh, there she is. Oh, she took her helmet off too. She said, F it. Oh, those things are, okay, Never mind. They don't look like humans. I take it back. They're gnarly. Oh no, oh no, what? No, there's no way, there's no way. What? Are we gonna have to time travel? Cause I remember there's a movie about tribe time travel. There's no, she died? What the hell? There's no way. They're not supposed to know where he's- Oh, they knew. We're gonna have to go back and do this over. This is awful. We're gonna have to do this over cause Emily Blunt wasn't supposed to die. Oh God, ow. Holy shit. they're crazy looking. He just keeps messing with the language. Oh, finally, he got it off. Okay, you got one. Great job. Uh-oh. Oh, that one's a big one. That's a big one. What? Did you just die? Holy f is it just Groundhog Day? What? It's just Groundhog Day. They have acid blood? Holy sh Why do all aliens have acid blood? Sergeant Farrell. That is my name. It is, it's Groundhog Day. That's amazing. I thought there was gonna have to be something that was gonna happen in order for like time travel. I didn't realize it was Groundhog Day. You're, you're not gonna believe what I'm about to tell you. No, I'm not. Uh-huh. Right, exactly. He doesn't want to hear it from you. What is he gonna do? What is he gonna have to do? He's gonna have to save Emily Blunt or something. I don't know. Private Kimmel, what is my view of gambling in the barracks? Just like it, Sergeant Farrell. Ah, he's like, he's just stunned. This is great. Through readiness and discipline, we are masters of our fate. Through readiness and discipline. You can be a master of your fate. You just need to get ready and learn some discipline. Haven't you ever been one of these before? No, he hasn't. <laughs> Well, yeah, actually, he has. <laughs> I love how he always looks so sweaty. I think there's something wrong with your suit. There's a dead guy in it, right? There's a dead guy in it. He's saying it again. <laughs> Holy sh This is awesome! Oh my god, I love this. I wonder why this is happening to him. There's got to be a reason. Incoming! Oh, yeah. I have a hole in your chest. Really? Did you just take my... My battery, battery. He can't, can he not move now? Cause she stole his battery. Holy fuck. <laughs> what a 
that's awful. Oh, she is a full metal Your name is Master Sergeant Farrell from Science Hill, Kentucky. And if you'll give me 30 seconds to explain how I know that, you may just save the lives of every soldier on this base. I don't think anyone's ever going to listen to him. No, we're coming! No, no one's ever going to listen to him. Oh, no, this is so bad. He's got a bad reputation. There's a card game under the bed. Thanks a lot, asshole. Uh, Kimmel's working on a flush, uh, spades, no clubs. He memorized the cards. And you're gonna make me those cards. Am I right? Holy shit. Maybe they are gonna believe him. Are they gonna believe him? This is awesome. Your very lives depend on it. <laughs> They're not listening to him. They just taped him up. He disengaged early. He went early that time, interesting. He's getting better and better. This is a great training system. Nice! Oh, he died though. <laughs> well, we keep going over and over and over. I love this. Go, run, move, move. Nice job. Look at him. He's becoming a badass. This is so good. Ah. Funny. Come on. Why does she look shocked? Find me when you wake up. Oh. Oh, he ha oh, she's known about this. Gonna Oh, she he has to find her this early? It's all about them two together. It's good to meet you. Isn't that an officer's uniform? These Make sure, sure ain't officers. Cuff Cufflinks. <laughs> Keys in that. So, <laughs> probably. He's just trying to like be as polite and as like quick as possible to like get Farrell to go away. What next, little uh, PT? PT, 10 minutes. Aha, uh -huh. that's so funny. How is he gonna get to her? Yeah. Oh. Did he die? He died! <laughs> Man, this is so hard. He's gotta get it just right. He's gonna time it. Holy shit. good job. Wow, no one noticed. That's pretty crazy. Oh, this movie is so funny, y'all. I love it already. It's way funnier than I anticipated. That's the only way you can reach her. It's a test. <laughs> Excuse me. Yes? Who said you could talk to me? You did. Come with me. Now. Oh, good, 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 good. Finally, good. Good, good, good. First time you died, what happened? You killed a mimic? Yes. Describe it. It's different. It's a bigger. It was. It was a big one. You got covered in its blood. Yes, he did. Is that why this is happening? What happened to you happened to me. I had it. I lost it. Okay. She had it. She wanted it because she was like using it to win the war and then she lost it. The ability to keep reliving the day. Interesting. Why does it keep happening though? This is so bizarre. Like why is this even allowed to happen? And so many questions. Who's this? He's me. Before Verdun. Oh, before Verdun. That's why she could kill a hundred of those things. That's why she was like the queen of Verdun or whatever. Cause she got so much experience. And the Omega has the ability to control time. Why do we call them mimics? Whenever an alpha is killed, an automatic response is triggered. The Omega starts the day over again. It, it knows exactly what we're gonna do before we're gonna do it. And an enemy that knows the future can't lose. Uh-huh. That sucks. It's a miracle you guys have lasted the war this long, then. This is a perfectly evolved, world-conquering organism. So how do you defeat that? You've seized control of the Omega's ability to reset the day. Oh, because every time you die, the day resets. When it's close to finding you, you will start having visions. You'll even see where it is. Oh. I'm not even trained for combat. Oh, they're gonna train him in one day now. She does. She operates a lot better with a sword. I think I broke something. What? My back. Oh, fun. The only thing I can feel in my lips. <laughs> He's so pathetic. This is so funny. You get injured on the field. You better make sure you die. Oh yeah. I was hit. I was bleeding out. Just not fast enough. Uh huh. I woke up in a field hospital. Oh. Of someone else's blood, and I was out. Yeah. You want to die? You better start over, don't you? What? 
No one knows what happened to Private Cage. I love that in this universe, there's foreshadowing with the bus. Every time he wakes up, he sees her image on the bus. Remember, it's not enough knowing where they're going to be. You have to know how to kill them. Well, he really doesn't. Ow. I just, oh, hold on, hold on. Listen, listen. Aren't there other people here? Like, okay, do it. There are other people in this training facility. Are they not watching her kill this guy? Like, wouldn't they have questions? Like, why are you killing him? I think I'm okay. <sighs> She's like, no. Maggot, maggot. I'm trying to be nice to you, maggot. Now move. Ah! This is so funny. Honestly, it's so funny. I'm good. Your leg's broken. No. Oh, no. Feel my toe. Ah, he's desperate. He's like, please don't kill me. This is so funny. He's like, please, I'm sick of this. <sighs> oh, he's having visions now. Oh, he had a vision of where it was. There's a dam. I saw German writing. Do you think you can work out where that is? I mean, Germany. Training is over. Training's over? I mean, he still wasn't very good. In the meantime, you need to figure out a way to get us off that beach. Oh, no. Oh, no. Let's go! Oh, oh. I thought stepping left, ducking, just Fine. for the record, stepping, stepping left, left, ducking, ducking right, stepping right, specific. stepping left, ducking right. Ah, they're literally choreographing everything they have to do. That is so funny. It's just a, it's just a bloodbath. I mean, how do you get through this? Explosion. I'm gonna run 30 paces northwest. He's got to be realizing this is impossible. It's not a, it, he's like, there's no way we're gonna survive the beach. He's gotta be having like a realization that this is just not working. It's a new day, people. No, it's not. It's a not a new day. Why does he always get to ride a motorcycle? I feel like I've seen him on the cover for Top Gun at a motorcycle. Is that just his thing? I know. Power's gone. Is it cause he didn't go? I'm concerned. He has to die, doesn't he? Or they win. Like, you, you stayed alive too long. Oh my god. Yeah, it's getting much worse, huh? They in the water? Oh, wow. They invaded all of London. Yeah, they took over. Oh, he's better. He's good now. He went from losing all hope and giving up and then seeing that that was an even worse option to realizing that he had to... He had to just keep fighting. Man, this character's arc is really great. I found the Omega. I found it. it has to be here. Turn her down, Germany. Yeah, that looks like it. Because we're never gonna get there. You can't fight on the beach. You have to just go. You just, you have to desert. You have to desert and go to Germany. You keep coming here every day and I'll train you. You're gonna run out of time. You already have. That's such a great line, you already have. I love that this is Groundhog's Day and nobody else around him really remembers, you know? It's such a nice touch. He's such a badass now! What the Look at him! He's moving so fast! He went from not knowing how to reload to like being a ninja in this suit. Don't forget to disconnect the caravan before you take off. You are going to be in a hurry. Wow, they might make it this time. Man, I can't imagine trying to run fast in this outfit. It's insane. Come on. Okay, but you got the caravan. She didn't disconnect it, huh? She didn't disconnect it! I forgot to unhook the trailer. Yep. There it is. Oh, don't worry. That will It'll take care of it for you. Oh, great. That's great. There you go. It's probably good that you unhooked it. <laughs> or didn't unhook it, I mean. Oh my god. I can't believe this car's still driving. You no, know, you eventually do talk to me. It's usually around Lyon. You tell me about the time you went there with your family. Your brother got lost. Oh, they've made it in the caravan before? They've done this before? Oh, that's great. What about Hendrix? You get to know him. How do you know that name? You mentioned Oh, was Hendrix a guy? I see why you won't talk to me. She loved. Why are you... He's Lovely. dead, and I watched him die 300 times, and I remember. Oh, he was the guy with her at Verdun, and now she's the girl with him at Verdun, in this scenario. Oh my God, oh, it's sad. That's why she's like, it'll be easier for you if you don't get to know me. She knows from experience. Oh no, what an inconvenient time to be out of gas. Coffee's ready. I'll look around for the keys, that's productive. 10 minutes. Okay. And then I'm killing you. <laughs> that's so 
funny, man. Let's just reset. Can I just kill you? I'm tired. <laughs> I can't believe you found coffee. Oh, they clearly have been here before. He knows something you don't. Thank you. Ah, hold on. Three. You like three. <laughs> yeah, honey. Yeah, you got to know you. There's a shirt over there. Shoot it your size. He knows every. He's been here so much. There's... What are we still doing here? You're wasting time. Rita, if you start that engine, you die. Why? It's as far as you go. Oh, he said. Oh, no matter what he does, she doesn't survive. Oh. So that's why he's just trying to protect her because he love he loves her now. <laughs> oh my God! There's this movie is everything. I volunteered. I'm not walking away. You die here, right here. Stop, please. <laughs> oh. Why does it matter what happens to me? Because he loves you. I wish I didn't know you, but I do. Oh my God! <laughs> There's everything in this movie. It's a dramatic romance. It's a comedy. Oh no. No way. No way. He's just hacking at it with an axe. Is she, like, there's no way she's alive. My middle name. That's why he knows her middle name. It's Rose. Oh. Oh. Are we gonna do it again? Oh my God, we're gonna do it again. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is getting crazy. What is he gonna do this time? He's gonna have to like ditch her. What is he gonna do? He's like totally smitten now. He's in love with her. Who said you could talk to me? Sorry to disturb you, Sergeant. Oh, it doesn't matter though, dude. Like she dies anyway. She dies on the beach. I think there's something wrong with your suit. There's a dead guy in it. <laughs> he's not even he's just letting him die that's so funny he's so jaded at this point he doesn't care he's like F it i'm not saving your ass oh my god he's already back here he burns the whole farmhouse down i wonder what happens to her if she dies on the beach he's just doing it all without her oh my god oh poor guy's gotta be all alone oh, it scared me it's interesting that i haven't seen any other mimics around Is it not here? Is it behind you? Something's gonna happen. Oh, just kidding. They're all hiding, they know. Finish it! Oh, it won't kill him. It won't kill him, because it knows. Oh no, they're gonna try to take the power back, huh? Is that what's happening? It isn't there. It you built work. a prototype at Whitehall. Yes, and I got fired for it, thank you very much. It's gotta be the pro- it's the prototype! You stick it into the alpha and it taps into the wavelength connecting it to the omega. That's the idea anyway. I'm sure it works! So all you need to do is go to Whitehall. I like that he ha wow. He gets- the guy with the yellow armband always recognizes you. So- oh, okay. He's done this a couple times too, that's crazy. I love that we get to have so many different versions of a hero's journey in this movie. It's so great. Cage, let's go. Rita, let me what just- What are we doing? Please, don't shoot him again. Oh, she shot him before? Oh, that's so f funny. Don't shoot him again. The only way to win this war is by finding this power source of the mimic horde and killing it. And the only means of finding it is in that safe right there. Oh. Wow. Is that the first time he gave it to him? Holy f Wow. Damn. What do we do now? Ah, this is the first time it's worked. We've never gotten this far. That's great. So in the past, she's just killed him, but then it probably doesn't work. Stop right there! Don't move! Nobody move! What the? Love how she just kills him. Smart. Honestly, smart. Because he would have gotten arrested. What am I supposed to do with this? Stick it in your leg. Do it! Yep. You gotta do it in the car. <laughs> Holy f Whoa. What's going on with his eyes there? That's crazy. Oh, is he? That's Paris. The Louvre! I'm going down. I'm in, I'm in a garage, a garage underneath the museum. It chose the Louvre. What a lovely place for it to choose, quite honestly. It has a great taste. It's in Paris. But now you got to get out of this scenario. Oh, no. The British commander guy is really just so annoying. He's so stubborn. It's awful. Although, wait, well, he's got to kill himself. No. 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 He's in a hospital. No. Oh, no. Wait, his eyes. Oh, no. Did he lose the power? Oh no. The blood! No! Oh, that's so bad. 
Oh my god, he lost the power. I lost the power. I feel it. Oh, you can tell? I can't reset the day anymore. It's your last chance. Really high stakes now. See, this is great, because now the stakes are so high. This is, this is great writing. I love this. Before the invasion starts, that gives us less than three hours. To get to Paris. Well, luckily, it, Paris isn't that far from London. Could you imagine if it chose a place like Russia or China, just somewhere farther away? Ugh. Just listen. Farrell almost strong as by a bullet It doesn't matter. No one cares. Come on. Why would we follow him into combat? I don't expect you to follow me. I expect you to follow her. Oh, great. This is so great. Uh-oh. Already. All ready. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, there's a ton of them. Guys, they know we're coming, man. Oh, no. It's like the only way to succeed at this. Oh, wow. The tables have turned. Now he's the one yelling drop. He's... What if he dies? Wait, but they can't. I was gonna say, the best way would be to get, like the whole army to abandon the beach plan and just come here, but this this is their last chance. Like, he, if he dies or she dies, it's over. It matters as we finish this. What? Stop yelling, Ford. We'll never get through. We could. And that, it just needs to get us across there with speed. All right, okay. I'm surprised that we're not drawing attention. The mimics aren't charging them. I'm not gonna be any good in there, mate. Oh no. Let me buy you some time. Oh, he's gonna sacrifice himself. Hey, come on, man, we gotta go! Don't wait for us! What about Skinner, though? Skinner's fine, though. Like, I understand why Griff is, is going, because he's in rough shape, but we could use you, Skinner! Come on, you fucking Come on! Oh no. It's time, it's time. Oh. I don't know if I got enough of them, though. Ship. Nobody asked. Nobody invited you. God, there's just, there's like really just too many of them. Bye, Ford. Oh God, there's only them two left. This is so bad. Ah! Punch it, punch it! Oh my God, we're just destroying the Louvre. Not like it matters. I mean, obviously like saving humanity is more important, but oh, it's killing me. The Louvre is already destroyed, I guess, to be fair. Holy shit, man, you are lucky to be alive. He really went from just being such a spineless, pathetic, insecure weenie to being such an amazing badass. Like this has been the best, most satisfying growth <laughs> of an action character ever. Damn, that would've been really unfortunate if y'all died right there. I'm gonna draw that thing away. You kill the Omega. No. You won't make it 10 feet before that thing kills you. I'm surprised it doesn't hear you. Neither one of us is getting out of here. Oh, he's trying to, he's trying to, he's trying to protect her. He's like, you kill the Omega because then maybe you'll survive. But she's like, listen, I need to draw the Alpha away. I can run. You can't, you need to kill the Omega. Neither, yeah, yeah. She's trying to reason with him because yeah, like that's what I thought. They're both going to die here. Oh! Thank you. That's really sweet to say. He did work really hard. <laughs> she, she's dead. D stop looking. You, I know. I know it's time in the movie for a dramatic look, but you don't have time. Oh, it's coming. Hurry up. Oh, thank God. There's a bunch of scaffolding and rubble down here to hinder it. Oh no. Oh, it's really fast. Oh my God. Hurry up. Swim faster. Cage! It's coming for you! Oh my god, the artwork is stunning. No, 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 no. It's gonna explode. Right there, right there. Oh, that actually worked out better, yeah. What a dramatic reveal, holy shit. Oh my god, you did it. Wow! Oh, that was so cool. That reveal of the pins in his hands. Damn, we got a lot of restoration work to do on the Louvre now. Uh-oh, what's happening here? What is this? Or is it just it's blood? Maybe it's just bleeding. Oh no, 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 not again. Not again. What? 
Not again. No way. Wait, so he gets to start over this far back now? What's happening? How come he gets to do this? Wait, what news? What news? Russian and Chinese troops are now moving across Europe without resistance. He got to reset? Oh my God, the blood in that thing got him to reset and everybody else is still alive. Oh my God, he got to be here as a major. Yeah, because he, he knew better. <laughs> Battle is the great redeemer. Look at him, he's completely redeemed. He didn't act like an ass in this one, so he gets to stay a major. Oh my God. I love how she she's still doing her yoga. <laughs> yes, what do you want? She still acts the same, that's so great. Wow, what a great way to end it. That is crazy, man. This movie was so fun, I loved it. This movie was great. This was so awesome. This, it was like everything I could have ever wanted. Like, I was kind of nervous when I saw Alien Invasion. I thought it was gonna be kind of scary or um, maybe more on the dramatic side when I really just wanted like a fun action movie, but it was a fun action movie. It was really funny for like the first third or even half of it, just with like all the Groundhog Day gimmicks that were going on. And then it really became like heartfelt and sad. And he's going through this really dark place thinking he has to do it without her help and trying to protect Rita because he's fallen in love with her and he cares about her and he doesn't want her to die. I mean, his character arc was just so cool because we could explore every single possibility of where life could go for him in this war. We got ups and downs, comedic moments, tragic moments, romantic, sad moments, really intense, funny action lines. I mean, it was just great. It was so well done. I loved the concept for the story. And it, we got a happy ending, which I wasn't really expecting. I was kind of expecting them both to die and the happy ending just to be that they succeeded, but they managed to come up with a way where he could survive and still relive that moment where he sees her doing yoga and gets to meet her again for the first time. I just thought it was so sweet. I really liked it a lot. And I definitely wasn't expecting the movie to start out in this place where Tom Cruise is this really unlikable character where he's playing this guy that's pathetic and sad. And he really started at the bottom and could only go up from where he was at. And I really liked that choice. I thought it was just awesome. It was so fun. I had a really great time watching this one. It was a lot of fun and it was quite honestly exactly what I needed today. So it was, it was great. Definitely excited to hear your guys' thoughts in the comments down below and what you think of this movie. I'm happy I finally got to check this one off my list and it definitely pleasantly surprised me. I gotta say, I haven't seen that many Emily Blunt movies, but <laughs> everything I've seen her in at this point She's surrounded by aliens and she's just doing a fantastic job. So um, I love her. Maybe one of these days I'll get to see her in something where it's not um, an alien movie. <laughs> But until that day, that's all I have for you guys in this video. So I really hope you liked it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up so that I know and I can watch more stuff like this in the future. Of course, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and anything else you might like me to watch next and subscribe if you want to. Till the next one, stay golden. Bye.